Turning the Detroit Pistons into NBA champions sounds like an unfeasible task, right? Well, myself and 15 friends decided we were up to the challenge. You're probably curious how we're going to achieve that. Well, NBA 2K, of course, and some packs of trading cards. But what are we going to do with the trading cards? Well, each individual in the bracket is allowed to trade three of these players of their choice to the Pistons. Let's get into the picks and the NBA 2K simulating to see if one of us pulled it off. Here are Charlie and Tyler's selections. TJ finished 47 and 35, but he lost to the Hawks in the semifinals, four to three. Quite a bummer there. Uh, up next, Charlie, he finished 54 and 28, but lost to the Hawks in the semifinals as well, four to three. So we had to do a little bit of a tiebreaker there, which ended up being the Pacers. Charlie had the better record, so Charlie will move on. And we're gonna take the little guy here, peel it off <laughs> and put it there. Here are Hunter and Lincoln's selections. We have Hunter versus Lincoln. Hunter finished 47 and 35 and made it all the way to the NBA Finals, but lost to the Mavericks four to one. Next up was Lincoln. Lincoln finished 53 and 29, but lost to the Hawks in the semifinals as well, four to three, meaning Hunter will move on. Here are Ben and Gage's selections. Next matchup was me versus Gage. I finished 49 and 33, but lost to the Bucks in the first round, four to two. Kind of a bummer there for me. Gage was up next. He finished 42 and 40, but lost to the Celtics in the first round, four to one, meaning I get to advance. Here we go. Here are Brady and Talon's picks. All right, last matchup for the left side. We got Brady versus Talon. Brady finished 58 and 24, but lost to the 76ers in the quarterfinals, four to two. And then Talon, he finished 51 and 31, but lost to the Hawks in the semifinals, four to three, meaning Talon gets to move on. All of us are losing the f Hawks, I swear. Here are Adam and Kodiak's selections. The next matchup is Kodiak and Adam. Adam finished 52 and 30, but lost to the Heat in the first round, four to two. Kodiak finished with an even 41 and 41, but got swept by the 76ers in the first round, four to zero, meaning Adam gets to move on. Here are Jess and Weston's picks. We got Weston and Jess. These two actually had the best overall records. Weston finished 60 and 22, but lost to the Bucks in the quarterfinals, four to three. And then Jess finished 64 and 18, but lost to the 76ers in the quarterfinals, four to three. So we had another tiebreaker situation here. Jess had the overall better performance, so he moves on. Here are Mason and Derek's selections. Mason finished 38 and 44. Dude, you were the only team with a losing record. Um, and you lost in the first round of the Hawks four to one, but you won the play-in, so I mean, that's good. Derek finished 48 and 34, and he actually won the NBA finals four to one against the Warriors. Attaway Derek, you move on. Here are Carson and Aaron's selections. Last matchup, we got Aaron versus Carson. Aaron finished 50 and 32, but lost in the quarterfinals to the Hawks, four to nothing. Carson finished 56 and 26, and he won the NBA finals as well and swept the Suns 4-0. And uh, Carson and I had the same exact team and he won the finals and I got eliminated in the first round. Funny how that works. That means that Carson is this round's champion, and he elected to pick the San Antonio Spurs to be the next team we attempt to turn into NBA champions. Will we do it? Find out which of these eight will advance in part two.